Welcome to the channel. We're in the red room, man. That's right. Got my new shelf in here. Got everything off the shelf except for the pork and beans. Yeah. Let me kill something here. Don't you get up in there. Well, you ain't gonna build them stupid ladybug things. Well, I've already filmed this video, guys, and uh, well, the microphone. For some reason the Rode microphone does not like this camera and the Rode microphone doesn't work as near as good as a DJI microphone all right so this shelf is much wider than the one that was in there the one in there came to about here and this has a lot more room it also comes with these plastic shelf liners so that your cans aren't doing this so I've got everything that I have in here uh, in no such order I'm gonna be ordering some more of these containers here because uh, I, I don't really I'm not concerned about this small one I would like some more of these big ones but they all I don't know if I can get them all you know all just all big ones or these these were mixed in you know so I'm gonna have to get on there and see now the other alternative and they're more bulky are these five gallon buckets with the waterproof screw off and on lid and these are nice you can get these at tractor supply i got these off of uh, amazon so this is what i've got right now shows me it's not that much but really i could survive quite a long time on just with what i got now now you need to you know in a it's five years ago people would laugh at you for stocking food like this today We've already seen the result of what happens when people make the run on the grocery stores and when the supply chain breaks and it's going to happen again. So you want to be prepared and have things on hand where you'd be the cool cat sitting home going, I don't need nothing from the store. You know, your friend calls you up. Hey man, there's a jar of pearl onions. It's the last one. Do you want it? You guys sit there and think, when do I ever eat pearl onions? Come on, man. There's a big old lady coming. She's, she's got her eyeballs on it. You want them pearl onions? Yeah, man, get it. You don't have to do that. You could have pearl onions sitting there on the shelf. Ten of them. That's right. Stock things you can make meals out of and stock lots of vegetables. I mean, you can I can take a can of lima beans, eat it cold right out the daggum can. I'm happy. And that's giving me nutrition. Uh, corn, really not good for nutrition, but it tastes good. But things like cream of mushroom soup, you know, I got these at Aldi's for probably like 60 cents a can. Whereas this is gonna cost you like $2 a can. I don't even know why I have that. But I just just buy the you know the best choice. The always say brands, they're good enough. They're good enough. Tuna fish is meat. Chicken breast is meat. You can get dried beef. There's all kinds of dried beef and meats you can get. I'm just getting started, man. You can stock broths. In a better way that'll last longer is bullion cubes. But I do like to have some broths. I got chicken broth, beef broth. You know, yeah, there's sodium and I and a lot of this stuff, you know. But you know what? When it comes down to survival, I'm not worried. I'm not reading a label. I'm going to fill my belly. That's what I want to do. Now, down here, I've got a tub full of ramen noodles, okay? These are about as unhealthy as you can get with that package in there. Throw the package out. Bust you open a can of cream of mushroom soup. Throw you in some of the, you know, some chicken breast make a concoction man and there here's the like to crushed tomatoes that's what i use with like to spaghetti uh any kind of pastas i make crushed potatoes or to potatoes crushed tomatoes are thicker uh i make chili with it but i also do got you know i got a little small spot of sauce you know to say you make something spaghetti and the next day it doesn't have ain't saucy enough just add a can of that with tomato paste uh, Rotel, diced tomatoes, yeah, there's sauce. That's all sauce. I got that at all these. So whole tomatoes. I also have my freezer. Well, can't get in it right now. It's full of tomatoes, but power goes out. I can only power that for so long. I'm gonna make one giant batch of chili. I'll tell you. 
Also, uh, you know, like here I've got dried milk. That'll last quite a bit. Uh, I've got some bottled water. That I just got that because it was on sale. I'll tell you what I got. I have a lot of water sources available here. Now I've showed you guys these. These are life straws. Okay, they're like twenty dollars, but you can put this into the creek and drink a thousand gallons of water, and it'll remove ninety nine thousand point nine hundred ninety nine percent of protosa whatever that is yeah, the junk it's going to take all the junk out up to a thousand gallons so if you have a good stockpile of them and this is the same thing they just come in a different package and in fact i'm going to get off here i'm going to go ahead and order another one now i've got these uh fire starters you know it's got the stick you hit you know you're doing this you get your spark got a stock of matches i got some emergency blankets uh bleach get a good stock of bleach don't get that cheap, uh, splash, that nasty splashless kind. There's just something wrong with that kind of bleach. Yeah, that's not what you use for uh, diluting water, uh, you know, sanitizing water. Also, these have come way down in price, these Coleman uh, little propane tanks. I seen them in Walmart the other day. It was like two for $10 or something. It was, I mean, there was a time these were like $14 a piece. So I'm going to get all this. I still got all my YouTube camera crap on here and microphones. That's what this shelf will have. And, you know, hand sanitizer, soaps, things like that. Uh, good to stock. So just think, you know, in your daily life, what do you use every day? Ziploc bags. That will be very important because you open something, you want to preserve it, right? So Ziploc bags. Uh, foil saran wrap you know just have a little extra of that on hand buy the big giant rolls of it put one back on the shelf bags of pasta okay all this up here you know, i've got beans pinto beans lentils lima beans i've got spaghetti uh more beans back there i think another one of them is a big thing of rice uh i've also got beans in that one and i plan to fill about two or three of these up with rice uh the best place to get that stuff is like a Asian market or a Mexican market. Uh, if you got one of them there, they sell the big 50 pound bags. Uh, you can get it a lot cheaper. But, you know, this isn't going to be as hold as much as I thought. You know, I've got to leave my security system there. I ran a uh, DVR uh, HDMI splitter. You can see it down there. So I've got it projecting on the TV in the wall in the new office. You won't see that until later. So I think I can get one more shelf in here. God, I don't know where. I don't want to put it in front of the window. That thing, I'll probably move somewhere else. Move over here. I don't know. But th there's nowhere for me to put this right now. So that's the way it is so anyway guys that's what's going on we're going to get this shelf this shelf will hold a lot of food there's many many months worth of food here but you got to get creative in that situation and you got to eat just enough to survive and that's it you know vegetables are really good just about anything anything in a can don't pay attention to what the date is okay they want you to buy more these things will last a decade or more depending on what it is and you also have to make sure that each can is not dented or anything wrong with it and if it's not dented and there's no seal broken anywhere it should last a long time I mean they've cracked cans from the World War II that were still good uh, I wouldn't want to push it that far so what you do is you just rotate your stock when you pull, you know, I'm using this. This isn't just sitting here, I'm using this. So I pull a corn, well, I keep a metal mine, you know, in my uh, metal note to replace the corn. May not just run to the store the next day and buy it, but, you know, and, and a lot of these, I don't think these are newer. A lot of these I have marked, well, I can't find a one of them. I wrote the dates on them. All this was purchased in a two month period, so I'm not really worried about it. But as I buy more, now I'm going to pull up the old stock and put the new in the back and, and write the dates on the can. And that's that tells me, you know, it's fairly... Like there's some back there that got the dates. But yeah, it, it gets a little monotonous. So that's basically it, guys. 
and then what you do is if you find them I'll show you what I've done I, I've actually all the dented cans I've done but I have gotten them from the store that way I just put them in my cupboard that I use now see that's got a dent all these are dented every one of these have a dent and then a subscriber sent me this because I like this and that's really bad for you but when you get canned goods in the mail they all come dented and every there was four cans every one of them was dented no, through no fault of them but that's just how they you know it's rough when they mail it so you know just take the dented cans and use them up right away and you'll be good we'll show you my new cabinet <laughs> no I haven't done anything in here yet uh, I spent the day I mowed the grass well, rooster was really complaining about her yard you know I had to get her yard cut just did some outdoor things and tomorrow hopefully I went and got the lumber though I got the two by fours hopefully I'll get on this tomorrow get these cabinets built it's gonna take a couple days on these cabinets because there's a lot of detail to it uh, another thing I want to do while I got the saws out I haven't done it I'm terrible where is it let me go look without showing y'all stuff Ah, I got to get. It's been almost a year. Almost a year. It'll be a year on the 17th. And I still, bear with me, still haven't got Libby's grave marker out. So, yeah, we're going to get her a little cedar frame made like all the other dogs got and get her grave marker out there. And uh, <laughs> it's never taken me a year to do that. But that's... That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do with her. There's a video on that. It was one of the hardest days. You know. I don't want to get into that story. But I will tell you that will bother me. To the day I die. About that. About her. But I know there was nothing else could have been done. Alright. Don't know how I got off on that tangent. Alright guys. Just a little update on the pantry. And I don't know if I said. And then in here I've got tomatoes okra things from my garden and a ton of junk on top but i will get all this cleaned up this is a work in progress all right thanks for watching guys become a prepper survive so you can watch my channel if youtube survives hey be sure to look at the community page on this channel and go check out the video on the other channel guys pretty bad story man if you haven't seen it and for those of you that have, keep it zipped, okay? Don't don't be snitching on, on, on the video that the others ain't seen. Happy trails. And in your bathroom, of course, you're going to need a lot of hydrogen peroxide. That lasts a long time. Get you some first aid stuff. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this, man. A subscriber had sent me all these handmade soaps. I love them, man. I mean, I love them. Olive oil and hemp. They're just different kinds. There were some huge bars. I mean, there's just so many different kinds. Look at this one. Looks like marble. This stuff smells so good. And it makes your body feel smooth. So if you know anybody that makes soap, get a big, you know. Uh, her name is Ellen Gage, I believe. And I, she doesn't comment much, but if she's selling this... Uh, if she wants to comment and give you guys her information because man I've you already used several bars this is gonna last me a long time and what I do is I get these uh, little bags sizzles I think they're called and I'll put the bar because sure as heck I drop them then I'm bending over to pick up the soap but I'll never drop the soap with the in these bags and they'll lather up real good in there these are like a few bucks on Amazon so I get that uh, you know, just stock things, first aid kits. I've got a great big one up here. This is packed with everything. And could probably even use more stuff. Uh, that one's an old kit. Got all my dog's medications and, you know, just things you're going to use. All right, just thought I would add that. So remember, you got to stay clean as well. But I wanted to thank that subscriber, Ellen, for sending this. Man, she sent me some and then... I'd mentioned something, and then next thing I know, I got a huge box of it. So <laughs> it's almost a lifetime supply.